Lodge is a 25 bedded neuro rehabilitation unit. We specialise in the rehabilitation of people who've had brain injuries, needing that enhanced and one-to-one -one supervision. At the very beginning, the staff were a little bit hesitant because they'd seen a lot of technology poorly implemented in the past. We've worked quite closely with staff to have focus groups and workshops to discuss certain technologies and ask them how they see it would work best. So getting their input to actually understand how processes currently work and how digital intervention can actually improve those processes. One of the really powerful things for me that staff have fed back on is how excited they have felt they are developing the technology alongside the companies. One of the main things that I've really enjoyed about the process of rolling out these trials is the co-design that we've had. We were presented with how we would access the asset tracking. We needed something that was more at hand and between our discussions and their technological expertise we were able to come up with an app using a device that we would already carry. So being able to reduce that time to find the, the equipment in that sort of environment would be really beneficial. Now over the last year they've seen their ideas shape the direction we're taking. We have real-time location services, we have intelligent patient terminals that allow these digital therapeutic applications to be presented but also allow for voice activated environmental controls. We have digital signage throughout the building that has a digital replica of the building where you can see which rooms are in use and you can book pieces of equipment. We have artificial intelligence with CCTV to help reduce the risk of patients wandering or absconding and so that's a collection of the different technologies that are in place at this point in time. What has been a real big lesson coming here and, and implementing these technologies is actually until they're in in their life, we don't really know how they work in a live environment. We really do rely on the feedback from patients and from staff to tell us actually which bits of it work well, which don't, what features are potentially missing for us to be able to then address those issues and, and build up our requirements as to actually the solution that will really meet the needs of, of the problem. If you look at the journey that we've been on over the last year, co-design puts them and the patients at the very heart of what we're doing. And quite often, staff become the passive recipients of technology, so they're not actively involved. And there is no one better to identify what staff need in their day-to-day -day than the staff themselves. So another part of the technology that we're trialling is the, the camera systems and the digital tripwires. What we find is that a lot of our patients, because of their cognitive impairment, they often try to abscond or leave the building. In order to maintain their safety at the moment, we have to place a member of staff with that patient 24-7. So by using the technologies, we can digitally prevent that abscond risk, but equally giving that patient the independence The Neuro Rehabilitation Unit here at Linden Lodge will transition to the NRC and at the NRC will be a 70 bedded facility. We're going to have access to things that we've never even dreamt of having access to. Really pioneering rehabilitation and work towards creating a centre of excellence where we can create the national standard for rehabilitation. The evidence-based approach that we've taken with the co-design with patients and staff at the centre has been watched very closely because historically it's not how things have been approached, it's been in the hands of patients and staff who've got real insight on what the final product needs to be. So I think the future is incredibly exciting.